idea of a family trip can sometimes be anything but relaxing. Dr. Kristen Millen, a pediatrician at Meritor, is here with what you need to know before you hit the road. And what I think is so important is really you have lived through this. Yes. You have uh, kids who are seven and eight. Correct. And by the way, did I pronounce your last name correctly? Yeah, it's Millen. Okay. Yep. So tell me about some things beyond the obvious. And, and you, you had said we all understand you got to pack toys and whatnot. Sure. But one point I thought was very interesting when you get to the airport, you don't necessarily want to board a plane early even if they allow you to. Correct. I think part of it, as long as you have assigned seats, because some of the airlines you don't have assigned seats, which then becomes very difficult when you have small children. But if you have small children and you have assigned seats, waiting can help them kind of get their pre-plane jitters out so they're not just kicking the seat in front of them or being upset that they have to get restrained into a seatbelt. If you can wait and wait until kind of like they're calling, not necessarily the last boarding, but right before, that can actually help children kind of transition into just getting in their seat and then they're ready to go. Now, what about if you are traveling abroad with children and you mm -hmm. wanna pack a lot of toys, mm -hmm. are there certain toys that the airlines advises you not to pack or tell you, yes, you must pack, you cannot take this on our aircraft? Sure. So first and foremost, um, you can check with your airlines and you can check with the Transportation Security Advisory. They actually have a really good website um, to look at so that you can look these things up. Otherwise, I think um, some of the toys that children really enjoy sometimes don't meet the requirements because they might be a safety hazard. So packing things such as like painter's tape or a soft little um, stuffed toy, those are fine. Of course. Um, but other things that might have a metal object on them or something else, you actually have to be careful about. So you just want to make sure that you're looking ahead of time so you don't have something thrown out in the process of traveling. Which would just be a mess too if that child saw their toy Correct. thrown out and then you have to be on the plane with them. Correct. Absolutely. Okay, because I don't suffer in silence, and I can imagine children, that would be Correct. a very difficult thing for a child to understand. What about if you're traveling abroad and medications? Yeah, so um, again, as long as you're looking ahead and checking with your airlines to find out, but things um, that you have as prescriptions should always be carried in their original packaging. Oh. I think sometimes people think that it will be easier if they put it into a pill planner mm -hmm. or if they put it in some type of another container to make sure. it easier, but that actually then doesn't allow the folks who are working through the transportation security um, with the customs and everything to actually know what these medications are for. And so sometimes they can end up being thrown out. Oh, Dr. Millen, thank you so much. These are very important things that we often don't think about and especially think about when we're traveling with small Absolutely. children. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Good luck with your summer trips you and summer much. planning. Yeah. So we appreciate you coming by. Thank you. We'll be right back.